I noticed you have braces. I have braces too. <sighs> Roughly how long from doing this pollination to seed set? Hell, I am Mother Nature. I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> so you're breaking up with me because I'm too blonde? What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Rachel, your plant madam. And today, I just wanted to do like a chatty repot with you guys. It's been a minute. It's been a few weeks. Casey got sick, uh, tested negative. He went out of town. He's a hard man to get a hold of these days. So I know that I did the poll and I know you guys said that you wanted to see more of Cletus. I wanna see more of Cletus as well. Just wanted to throw that hat out in the ring. <sighs> Haven't been seeing him a lot lately, but... I need to scoot you guys back a little bit. Oh, oh do you do? Oh, do you do? Oh, do you do? Lilu has a hair appointment on Friday and we have been trying to rock this long haired look for, you know, ever since I've had her, but man, it is not good looking. She looks really ragged a lot of the time. So here are the plants that we are going to be. Ugh, she's up on my shoulders. Why is this so like, what is wrong with everything? It's crooked, it's not crooked, it's crooked, it's not crooked. Lulu. Okay. So this first one is Begonia Alice Fay. Yeah, Begonia Alice Fay from Steve's Leaves. And I've had it in the original little pot. It's in here with like some Weka on top. Definitely needs to be changed out. Then I have this variegated Maranta and it looks like it's in the original deal. It is in the original deal. Maranta Beauty Kim. I, I have tons of propagations of this and I was thinking this wasn't the original, but, and maybe it's not. Maybe I just put the um, the tag in here and I'm just thinking it's the original. Lilu. Also, I wanted to repot this big boy and you can see this is an Anthurium Regal and it has a very fat um, and interesting looking inflorescence yeah you see the back on the brown background there really cool looking it hasn't gone into full pollen yet but when it does go into like releasing it like you can see where the pollen is going to be but it hasn't like released it yet where it's just like falling everywhere and i'm going to use this pollen to try and pollinate um look at this it's just coming right off Early. That's from the leaf that was there before. Lilu is still learning not to touch my plants, but she's learning because she can tell the tone of my voice changes quite a bit when she gets near my stuff and my plants. I haven't been able to get an inflorescence on this plant to do much of anything other than to harvest pollen from it. I wanted to harvest pollen from it and put it on my ace of spades because I do have an active um, female flower on my female stage coming up on my ace of spades so i'm going to use this pollen for that so if everything goes well but i think the reason why i can't get berries from this regal is because i just can't keep it watered enough because it's in this it's really important um cody from the plant channel taught me that it's really important to keep them really hydrated while they're in flower so that you don't lose your seed 
So this is just way too, it drinks a ton of water. The, the leaf is huge and it, sometimes it has two, sometimes three leaves. So I wanna get it into a bigger container. And then, speaking of Cody, he sent me this beautiful Alocasia cupria and it's in the same container that he sent it to me in. It had some drainage holes, some perlite, and there's actually some like fungus or like mold or something growing up top, so that's interesting. But I wanted to get it out of there and get it into a traditional pot because it's in my big grow tent. This lives in my big grow tent and every time I water it, it falls over and I just know that I'm, one of these dimes, I'm, it's gonna fall over and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna survive the fall. So that's only four things I wanted to repot. I'm sure it'll take me for freaking ever. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, no! I guess it's releasing a little bit more pollen than I thought. It sure is. Hmm. Girl. Hey my boy. Oh, and I can't have no peace in my life. None. No peace. All right, I've got these three pots. My favorite little cupcake pots, as you guys know. I haven't ordered them in a long time, but I just keep recycling them because sometimes things die. A lot of things die, as a matter of fact. This winter has been pretty effing brutal, if you know what I mean. Thrips has been kicking the girl's ass. Holy meal. Okay, the brown pot which is my least favorite pot, but still yet better than a lot of the other pots that I have around the house right now. And this, believe it or not, this blue pot right here is actually a glow in the dark pot. And it really does, like it glows really bright. It glows so bright that I had this in my bedroom in the window and I had to go take it out of my bedroom and go put it in the garage because it was like keeping my ass up at night. That's how damn bright these get. It's a wild concept. I'm pretty sure it was made in China. Yeah, see? I just had Lekka. It was just floating in Lekka and then like had Lekka on top. I have some potting mix here and it is just miracle grow potting soil, uh, quite a bit of perlite added into it, and then some not so pretty like a ball was like heavily mixed into it. Um, I would, I'm, I can see myself sometime in the future. I don't want to get like a big dirty, a dirt smudge on my nose. I can see myself in the future going towards. <laughs> um, hey, no, it's not. I can see myself in the future going towards like soil less growing just because y'all I've had just so many. I'm gonna use this actually as a scooper. We're gonna recycle. That's probably why I have so many pets because I'm lazy and I don't like sanitize a lot of stuff. I do sanitize my scissors now because I'm pretty sure I've had a slight run in with a virus. Oh man, I can't even, I don't even know. I'm not ready to get into it with you guys, but a company that I have bought from a lot in the past. I have recommended a lot in the past. I've never had a pay and gig with them. I've tried to get a pay and gig with them before because I bought so many things from them in the past, but never did. Um, yeah, but anyways, a company that I'm not gonna name because I don't really know like enough about the facts to name the company yet. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know. Like, I just, I kind of just want to keep my mouth shut and just stay the fuck out of it, to be fair. But at the same time, I've recommended this company so much. Anyways, I need some socks. I don't need nobody, like, staring at my feet, profiting off of them, screenshotting them, and putting them up on some sort of weird foot fetish site. No, thank you, sicko. You sick sicko? You sicko? Anywho, so I'm sure you can guess like who this company was or is. is you can, I'm sure you can guess who this company is because I've recommended this company a lot. But here recently, I have had a run-in with a virus on one of my plants. 
Not for sure. I mean, you can order kits, you can test your plants, you can do all this shit. I've got the camera down here, like, okay? So chill out. I'm still talking to you, I don't know, like you can either see my face or see what the fuck I'm doing. So hang on just a minute. Yeah, so one day I'm like poking around in my greenhouse and, um, you know, full disclosure because people do pot, buy plants from me and this, this, this did happen. I think it kind of really fucking bummed me out and probably is why I haven't been like putting out as much content lately, but Winston, don't be bringing all your bullshit in here. But I for sure had like some sort of a plant virus on um, a select few of the varicosum in my collection. Now, I know for a fact that the varicosum came from this company. And so I do this thing where I search on Facebook, this company's name and like, you know, viruses and stuff like that. And the shit that came up, you guys, was not good. It wasn't good, bro. I need to quit yelling, but it was just, it wasn't good, you guys. And I've, you know, and as long as I've been dealing with this company, and as long as I've been on Facebook, it's like, how have I not heard any of this? Come here, Peabot. How have I not heard of any of this? Like, I've heard a couple of people that said that they didn't like that company, but I didn't know. I guess maybe they knew something that I didn't know, and they didn't want to get involved, you know? So I don't know, and I'm not trying to badmouth nobody. I don't want no shit. I know it's gonna make a mess. I don't want no shit coming to me, okay? I don't. But I also don't want to recommend stuff to my viewers who are super loyal, you know? And um, when I recommend products, which I don't fucking usually recommend products unless I really believe in them, and, you know, um, I know customer service with every company is not going to be the best, you know, um, every single time. But this is just, this really bothered me, you know. Um, yeah, so I had to really start, and this was like, I think, when I first realized that this was happening was probably two months ago. But I wasn't sure, like, I don't have enough experience in, like, growing plants and stuff like that. I was wondering, you know, is this something, is this my... My plants are just because, you know, I had thrips going around and shit like that. Is this thrips damage? Is this like weird looking, you know? Um, anyways, Begonia Alice Fay. This is such a gorgeous begonia. I've actually taken several propagations. Just cut right off the top, like right here. Stick it in a cup of water and it'll root right up and then you can plant it right up. So this is my mother plant that I have. I love the waxy leaves. I love the ruby red undersides, super freaking adorable. And I think it's gonna grow a lot bigger, better and brighter now that it's got a much nicer, much bigger pot. That little bitty nursery pot was not doing it any favors. So there's one. So anyways, yeah, um, and I was noticing on, I was noticing it on mainly the varicosums in my collection that, that I'd propagated and that had come from there. Um, I don't think I had an opportunity to sell any of those particular varicosums. We were ordering some stuff. I don't remember if you remember a while back when I opened like um, an El Chaco that looked like it was on the verge of death, you know, and a couple of other varicosums. It came with that order and I propagated it a couple of times. And here's the thing, I didn't sanitize my scissors at the time. So I'm pretty sure that the virus that was on those varicosums, hey, quit sniffing my bloom. Does it stink really bad? Let me smell it. Let me smell. I don't smell anything, y'all are just being Y'all are just misbehaving. Okay, so I know that's a lot of information to take in, but it's just, that's reality. That's the truth. That's what's going on. So now ever since then, that was like I said about two months ago, I've been obviously, you know, and I would carry, I've been, you know, obviously like sanitizing the shit out of my tools. So basically I'm diluting um, one part bleach, 
to 10 parts water in a cup and putting all my sniffing tools and stuff in there. And that's for everything. I don't know. Um, I think I prevented a lot of mass spreading because I'm so lazy and I don't do a lot of cutting in there. But I have a spot popping up on my um, Gloriosa round form. And I'm pretty sure that um, that was something that I had cut recently. And it looks like a spot of irrigation is showing up on it. And you remember, what was it that I showed you guys on a video a while back in the tent? It was a Nangara tense. Okay. And, and the virus is... The virus that I'm talking about can't be spread just like plant sitting next to plant. It actually has to be like, you have to cut one plant and then cut another plant with like the same pair of scissors without sanitizing them, which is why the sanitizing thing becomes such a big deal, right? Um, and it's all, it's all fun and games until someone catches a virus, you know? But anyways, this beautiful little, it's not a little Kim. It's not a little Kim. It's a beauty Kim. Maranta, and I had to look at the tag. <laughs> it will forever be a variegated Lil Kim to me. And I'm going to put her into the, does she go in the pink pot better? Or does she go into the bullet, bullet pot? She goes in the blue pot better. Okay, so long story short, I tossed out all of the varicosums that were questionable. The, oh yeah, what I showed you guys in my tent that looked like it, that looked like it could be variegated was that uh, philodendron nangara tents. It was in, um, it was in a little tiny pot and it looked like it had a stripe of variegation on it, okay? And I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, if this is variegation or a virus or what. That was me like kind of hinting to you guys that I was like, I wasn't sure what was going on in my collection at the moment. So. I tossed it. I just tossed it. I also tossed the mother plant because I cut the mother plant with the same scissors. Doy, you know what I mean? Um, I just tossed it. Uh, so a lot of my plants got tossed. Not a ton. Damn, this thing is drizzy. Wow, so dry, but so beautiful. Anyways, um, I tossed the Nagra tents. I tossed all the varicosums that were in question. I still have a couple like in my. Um, whatchamacallit, my prop boxes that have been there for like a really, really long time. And I keep checking on those because I'm paranoid as fuck that maybe they were affected somehow or maybe it was like varicosums that I had before I made that blank order. So, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, not trying to talk shit. I'm not trying to start no shit. I'm just saying it is what it is. This is what I've run into. I have like, you know, um, had some experiences here lately with like a little bit of plant virus running around. And now I'm just doing the best that I can to, I'm just a hobbyist grower. You know what I mean? Like I'm not commercial. Um, it's just me, little old me with all these plants. Nobody else helps me take care of them. It's just me. And sometimes I used to get lazy and wouldn't do the, the best things like making up bleach water every time you want to propagate plants. Like that is such a pain in the ass to go do that. But trust me, once you see that shit popping up on your plants, you're going to be like, uh, I'll take the time. I'll take the time. And that's what I do now. I take, I take the time. I get up, you know, and I make my, you got to use like a really heavy coffee cup. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing. It. sorry you got to use like a really heavy coffee cup or a really heavy mug and just use the same one every time and rinse it out and put it up like underneath the sink and keep your bleach handy and then just pour like a little bit of bleach and then pour the rest of water and then dip your scissors in that but don't leave your scissors in it because it'll corrode the shit out of your scissors pro tip i've already lost a pair of scissors that way so <laughs> if it's lazy and you can fuck it up in some way I will do that. I will do it for you first. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. All right. So that's our second one down. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. If you are enjoying this video, be sure and give it a like down below. If you are not subscribed for some crazy reason, please subscribe so that my new videos will pop up in your feed. If you want to see my videos first before anyone else does, you can always hit the notification bell so when I post you'll see it 
in theory, in theory, you know, YouTube can be a bunch of twats from time to time. Ooh, this is like legit top 10 favorite plant, top 10 favorite plant in there with the Meekins and the Pothos and all those other things. This thing sits right directly next to where I drink my coffee in the morning and I admire it and I have tons of little reproductions of it, which is the great thing about plants if you're a new plant collector or something. The, the ability to take your plants and turn them into more plants is the coolest thing on earth. Pretty. All right, that's two down, two to go. And my legs are starting to cramp up, so perfect timing. Excuse me. Next up is the Alocasia Cupria. Uh, and I'm gonna put it in the hot cake pot because that's one of my favorite pots that I have. This moldy shit right here, I'm just gonna pick it off and put it in my like my little trash bowl that I have here. And then um, when I get done potting it up, I'm gonna spray it with some fungicide. So hopefully that'll quit that. That's another thing that I was telling you guys, I was like contemplating switching over to a soilless medium in the future um, is because I just get so sick of freaking mold. And I noticed when I was growing, during this like, seed growing out thing that I'm doing with all my anthurium seeds. I'm noticing that the soil is just obviously a breeding ground for that sort of thing. And it's just like, ugh, so annoying. I just don't think that I'll have as many pest problems if I fully switch over to like full on LECA or pawn or I don't even really know what pawn is. I just hear people talking about it. I should probably click on some of those videos and learn what it is, but I don't know. I just love, I like dirt. I like soil. I like playing with it. I like having my hands in it, but yeah, it's just been really kind of a pain in the old codger. And you know, I've been getting a lot of fungus and mold and a lot of pests and it's just like, ugh, you know, but check back with me a year from now. I'm probably still going to be using soil because I'm lazy AF. So pretty. Is that not so extraterrestrial? The hot pink pot makes it look even more fake. Anyways, so um, like on the virus, like just to just to wrap up like the whole virus topic, am I worried about the whole collection having it? No. Um, if I see anything else in my collection that starts displaying um, characteristics of having that sort of thing that I'm going to trash it and for my viewers watching I hope you kind of take it as like a warning you know that when you when you buy new plants or when you're adding new plants to your collection it could potentially have something like that going on and you just can't see it yet which is what happened to me and in the event that that is the case you got to keep your tools really sterilized and not just being silly like I was and just spraying the alcohol um, mixture and just hoping that it does the trick, like really dunking them, really wiping them down. All right, so that's three and we only have one left. The new pot that I'm gonna put it into. So the regal is going to go in this big pot with a stand that I got from good old fashioned Walmart. Ah. Oh my God, I'm so sore. <laughs> uh, life update besides besides trying to get the hepatitis of the plant community. Oh, waiting. Um, I've been going to the gym regularly now for three months. I feel like I'm getting some pretty good gains. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I took a picture and put it on my story of like the gains that I've gotten so far. They look, my arms look really puny right now, so don't be judging me right now. Shut the fuck up, don't judge me right now. Anyway, <laughs> I'll maybe, maybe if you're really good boys and girls, I'll give you a pump date on my Instagram stories and let you see how my biceps are coming along. I think they're looking pretty good. Um, my autoimmune disease is my autoimmune disease. It never goes away. It's like, no matter how good I eat or how much I work out or take care of myself. It, it never goes away. I think there's something in the back of my head that, that's always like, maybe this will be it, you know, like this will be the, this will be the thing that magically makes it go away. And you know, if I just be good for like an extended period of time, like it'll go away. But 
it doesn't go away. It never does. So autoimmune disease is autoimmune disease. I'm pretty sure the scales are going down and the tone and the definition is going up. So that's good. And I just really want to be able to wear a bathing suit um, this summer and feel confident, comfortable as you can feel as a 37 year old with two teenage boys. How about, babe, what is going on? You wanna get on the couch? So that's good, but it's exhausting. Going to the gym, being like good, being good and going to the gym is exhausting. Hold your breath. Um, it's defo exhausting and it's like my brain on the inside, it's like, yeah, you're doing a good job, but it's like, how long can we really keep this up? This is like a facade on top of a facade on top of a facade, you know? Like, how long can you really keep this up? <laughs> I hope for a long time. You know, obviously my goal is to keep it up for a really long time. It was the end of October that I started working out. It, all of November, all of December, all of January. So that's how long I've been doing it, not real. Get off me, Lilu. The dogs have really been sniffing on this bloom, on this regal, so I'm thinking maybe my nose, I got dead nose or Maybe my sinuses aren't picking up on what it smells like, but maybe the, I'm thinking this bloom smells bad because they're really into it. And I got some shit eating dogs, you know what I mean? Get back, Lalo. Get back. Get back! God! You suck, Lilo. You don't listen to shit. Don't tell me this pot's gonna break, Andrew. You don't know if this pot's gonna break or not. How do you know? Move it where if I do break it, you guys can see. I'm not, I'm not trying to put, okay. Don't put too much backward pressure. Like don't go, don't go like this. Like don't hold it like this and go like this, like me. Okay. Don't do, don't be like me. Just push in, slide the spade in. Yeah. And then push inwards. Don't be an idiot like me. Okay. Let's see. It'll come out. This is a big ass honk of a chunk. I got this from the place I was talking about. Like I said, I don't even know if I'll like stop completely ordering from this place. That's how fucked up it is, but it's, I don't know. And if I'm wrong, then I don't want to be the one to have been saying it. You know what I mean? But if you suspect you know who I'm talking about, just look it up on Facebook. Do exactly what I did. Oh God, it's the mailman. I see what you think about it. I don't know. It's pretty, it's distressing. It's pretty distressing. Oh, he's gonna love his new home. So much more room for activities. Okay, so what have I told you about so far? Casey works all the time and he doesn't have time to film video hardly. There's potentially been a virus on the loose in my collection. I'm losing weight and getting super swole. What else? Oh, so besides me being a total swole, enormous Wonder Woman type person with an excellent physique. Other than that, um, <laughs> I was just thinking the other day when I was putting on makeup, because I had to put on makeup again today, and I don't put on makeup regularly. I don't say, if I have to, if you guys know I'm a lazy, shithead, sloth person, okay? And if I don't have to put on makeup, I'm probably not gonna put on makeup, you know? I mean, I know the girls say it's for me, it's, I do it for me, but I don't do it for me. I do it for everybody else in society so they don't think I'm fucking sick. You know, or like, are you okay? You look like something's wrong, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> that's, that's basically why I do it. That's just real talk, you guys. And plus when you go to work, you know, you don't wanna look, you just don't wanna look tired and shit. Anyways, I don't do it for me 100%. And I was like sitting there and just like beating my face with my sponge. And I'm sitting there thinking like, are you fucking kidding me? We have self-driving cars. This is so boomer of me to say, you can put a man on the moon, okay? Tesla is deciding whether to hit a nun or a baby in the middle of the road. There's self-driving cars. There's, uh, you know, Boston Dynamics Robotics and stuff like that. Like they're creating super soldiers that are gonna kill us all and keep us all trapped in our house in the next 30 years or so. But I can't get a decent makeup applier. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I request formerly, formerly, okay? Mr. Elon Musk, please, for the love of God, can I please get a thing to put in front of my face and it goes shushuk and then it just, I have makeup on. Please, can I, can we please get that? And I'm not trying to put makeup artists all over the world out of work. I get it, okay? I get it. It's a profession. You guys make money at it. That's wonderful. And I think that the price point for this makeup applica applic makeup applier will probably be pretty high. I mean, it's going to be some pretty intense technology, okay? So not everybody's going to be able to afford it. But the people who can't afford it, you know, I'll save up for five fucking years if that's what it takes to get a makeup applier. Where all I have to do is stick my face into it and it's like shink, shink, and then I have makeup on. Are you kidding me? I just can't believe that we're still living in the Stone Age. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. Where is my makeup genie? Is it a makeup genie? Let's give it a name. Think of an interesting name down below for the new Elon Musk creation of the self makeup applicator. Applicator? Why is that so hard for me today? Applique? Applicator? <laughs> Fucking crazy. Crazy bitch. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said earlier, if you liked it, please leave it a like down below. Don't forget to like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you're wondering why should you subscribe, it's because I'm probably the coolest bitch in the plant community bar like two other people that I know of. Other than that, everybody's really magoo. So please subscribe. Thank you for listening to me rant about all of my issues with my husband being so big, bad, and important. And uh, Lilu being a little shithead and always looking homeless no matter how much I brush her. And uh, I might have like a plant STD running loose in the house. And also uh, tweet at Elon Crust and let him know I want my shit. Where is my shit? Put my money in my hand. Give me the cash! <laughs>
this spring. Alex Truell, Alexandra Kennedy, Allie Pierpoint, Allison Havens, Alyssa Braden, Amber Metter, Amy Baxter, Amy Billett, Andrew Wolf, Anna D, April Showers, Buy Me Flowers, Ariel Roots, Arlisa B, Aubrey Puff, Botanicaz LLC, Brianna Boswell, Carly Poulin, Cassidy Walker, Kate Christie, Chelsea Clifton, Chrissy Spencer, Crystal T, Danny Sprague, Deanne Santos, Denise Tomer, Diana Warner, Ellen Hoover, Emily Cephalou, Emily Forhey, Emily Emma LaCroix, Emma Wiley, Erica David, Florence Ramirez, Gab, Gabby Burnaby, Hazel Foreman, Heather Lamb, Heather Lukehart, Heather Worrell, Henrik Arnis, Hollis Good, Izzy H, Jasmine Renee, Jedi KCC, Jennifer Lee Johnson, Jenny Vanderbilt, Jess Marvel, Jessica M, Jill Cunningham, Karen Brackbill, Carissa, Katie, Kayla Taylor, Kelly Costello, Kelsey Cowan, Christy Williams, Christy D. Crystalia B, Laura C, Mary Boots, Mark Straw, Megan Earls, Megan Gowdy, Melissa Hartog, Melissa Mintz, Miss Lisa, Natural State Ashley, Nicholas Caruso, Nikki Grilly, Odd Avocado Tree, Peyton Gold, Pinky from Hot Farms, Plant Friend Down the Street, Plants Every Inch, 902, Root and Leaf, Sarah Schwartz, Shannon Mattingly, Spotted Oreo 10, Stacy Anderson, Stephanie McInnes, Sue, Tammy Carroll, Tara Peterson, Tara's Plants, Tropical in the Midwest, That Girl and Her Dog, The Hatter's Madness, The Plants Channel, The Plants Meow, Tim Burton, Tracy Buzzle, Valerie, Vanessa Gutierrez, Victoria Olson, Virginia Grace, Wendy Hartman, Wicked Witch Roxy, Will H., Winter Rose, and Yvonne Smith. I hope that you all have an amazing week. We'll catch you next week. Peace out. Later taters. Bye.